Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to generate EFI for macOS Tahoe. First, visit your browser. Type open core simple file. Visit this website. Now download this a zip. Now download hardware sniffer. Visit this website and download it a zip. I uh, know, I mean, visit this release. Now choose hardware sniffer.exe. Now minimize this tab so we can use it later. Now go to this PC. Choose download. Now first you're gonna run hardware sniffer. Or before we run it, you need to go to Microsoft Store. Dialog Python Right, so close Microsoft Store. Now run Hackware Sniffer as administrator. And now choose Export Hackware Report. And now also choose a dump ACPI table. Now close this window. Now run ACPI dump.exe as administrator. And now extract open core simplified main duck zip. Now run open core simplified as bath. Run this command line as administrator. Now if you want to skip the update process, you can you choose yes or if you don't want to skip the update process you're gonna choose no so in this case um whatever you can choose yes or no but i will go with no now you're gonna choose Slack Hardware Report. And now go to result. Copy report dot G G G JSON 
ฟาวน o w if it's checking capacity with macOS for following your device, if it's all green here like me, up to macOS 26 better. So you good to go. Now you're gonna choose macOS that you want to install. So I would choose macOS Tahoe 26 better. Now, copy this ACPI folder as path. And now, choose customize ACPI patch. If, uh, no, I mean, if it's white, it means you can select it if it's green, it mean that it's already selected. Now choose B. Now you're gonna choose customize SM BIOS model. So white mean that you can choose or green green mean that it's already selected for you. Now you're gonna choose build open core EFI. Now, here's the EFI file. Now, if you have already the macOS Tahoe 26 recovery folder, you can just extract, but this video, I'll just make how to uh, build an open core EFI. So part two is how to create a bootable macOS Tahoe 26 um, USB. So make sure to watch it. In this video, I'll just make how to make an EFI for macOS Tahoe. Now go to open core simple file again. Now choose result. Now, before we begin the installations, um, you need uh, at least four gigabytes USB. Now copy it. Part two, I will put the link in the description and also part two is how to install my CoS Tahoe. But in this case, I just install, uh, I will guide you how to build an open core EFI for my CoS Tahoe. Now, copy the, copy the um, my CoS Tahoe recovery. Now you just wait for it. A few minutes later. All right. So now, first we're gonna do our run test at macOS Tahoe. So 
I will make a video of installations of macOS Tahoe better, so make sure to watch it now. Let's begin. All right, so I switch it to my phone now. We're gonna do a run EFI test. All right, so I'm here in my BIOS now. Go to advanced mode. Now, you're gonna disable fast boot for me and also turn off secure boot if you need. But in this case, I will turn off secure boot. Now, save change and exit. Sorry, my mic's died and there's a car ran over, so I'm sorry. Now you're gonna choose UEFI. So, um, I mentioned to you that you just need only 4 gigabytes USB to install to make a bootable drive Mac. Now, um, I'm gonna choose this is the macOS installer images, so I'll name it in, in usb.dmg. Now you're gonna press enter. All right, so we put it into, so we successfully put it, it put into macOS Tahoe installation. So you can see here the new UI, install macOS beta. Now, as you can see here, um, we have a clear looking, we have a clear, nice looking acrylic, uh, no, I mean liquid glass design. Now, as, now, I've formatted, I will format this disk to prepare for part two, so make sure to check it. So that is how you generate the perfect uh, BFI for macOS Tahoe. So if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click on the like, sub, share button, and watch my new video. And now, goodbye.